Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Mercedes. I upload videos about nail polish, nail care, and hand care. So if that's something that you're interested in, definitely consider subscribing. In today's video, we'll be live swatching the new Jessie Monroe Fog Collection. I have three of the polishes to share with you. Is this glare bothering you guys? Kind of how to like find the right position. I fell asleep with my contact, so here. Yep. If you haven't heard about Jessie Monroe before, you need to hop on it. <laughs> Her polishes are amazing. She came out with a neon uh, collection for the summer, for this past summer. Those polishes, let me tell you, that formula. But this fall collection, it's inspired by Denim. It's the Denim & Company fall collection. These polishes will be available September 9th. If you have a discount code, it is an affiliate code, so I will make a small commission off of it. You're welcome to use it. You don't have to, but it does help me out. But anyways, let's get into the swatches. All right, the first shade we have is High Waisted. Now, I don't have exact descriptions of the polishes for you guys, so I'm going to go based off what I see. Um, but this legit is the most perfect shade of, of baby blue. Plus, I love the name. All I wear is High Waisted jeans. I don't think I can ever go back to Low Waisted. Just no. <laughs> All right, that first swipe, are you kidding me? <laughs> it's pretty much opaque in that first coat, and I'm sure you probably could potentially get away with it in just one coat i did have a few bald spots so i did go in for a second coat and that's that's all you need two thin coats you reach full opacity now the polish looks a little bit brighter on the nails than it does in the bottle it could have been partially my lighting but i i do think that the polish is a tiny bit lighter than than what it is in the bottle Pictured are two coats of high waisted with a glossy top coat. Next up, we have vintage feel. And guys, I'm horrible at explaining or describing polishes, so bear with me. But this looks like it could be a multi chrome in the bottle because you can kind of see like towards the ed like the edges of the bottle looks purple, but it's definitely not. On the nail, it's just one color, and it almost looks like small, tiny shimmer particles. Again, no surprise how perfect this formula is. Look at the coverage on that first coat. And you can actually, you know what? I take that back about it being multi-chrome because you can kind of see it shift a little bit. Now, I was completely shocked that this was matte. I had no idea it was going to be a matte polish. Um, I swatched it, looked away, waiting for it to dry, looked back, and I was like, oh, oh my goodness, this is gorgeous matte. I totally love this matte and I would wear it matte. I'm a glossy girl 100% of the way, but this polish mattified is just gorgeous. You can see a little bit of a shift. The shimmer is lost when it is mattified, um, but it's, it's nonetheless a beautiful polish. And here it is with two coats and a glossy top coat. And here we have DoorDash. Um, this is definitely a black based polish with tons and tons of silver shimmers. Okay, here we go again with the amazing formula. I just, I can't. That's what I'm saying. If you guys haven't tried Jessie Monroe, you're, you're sleeping on the brand. But look at that. Gorgeous. Another gorgeous polish that also dries matte. I didn't leave it matte. Um, I loved the finish um, looking glossy. Um, but you can see we get full opacity um, with that second coat and honestly you probably could have left it at one coat but um, the shimmer really pops with that second coat and there it is in all its glory pictured are two coats of jordash with a glossy top coat all right so if i had to choose a favorite uh, that's always hard i i say that literally in all of the past videos i've made is always hard <laughs> but Hello. all right guys i have company but if i had to choose a favorite Copy. go play if i had to choose a favorite i definitely would pick a uh, vintage feel it kind of surprised me i didn't realize it was going to be a matte polish and i'm a glossy girl 100 percent of the way but i definitely would rock this one matte i hope you all enjoyed the video and i will see you in my next one